Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and today we are filming March favorites. So if you guys are new here and didn't know, I actually do a favorites video every single month where I test out the product for a whole ass month and oh my God, sorry, I did not mean to swear, but it's out there now, so it's too late. Okay, anyway, I test out the product for an entire month and I'm really strict with the guidelines. I test them out for a long enough time before it makes it onto this video. So even if there are partners, which we do not have today, I tell them this disclaimer and they have to let me test it for as long as possible. Anyway, that being said, actually, I just remembered I forgot two things, so we'll be right back. So as usual, I have the same categories. I have jewelry, beauty, makeup. I have some home stuff fragrances this time and some wellness stuff as well. So if you guys didn't know, um, a little bit of a format has changed in these videos. Instead of linking all the items down below, I have made pages on the website with all of the items linked so you can find it directly on my website and all the links will be there. And while you're there, feel free to explore some of the other things on the website. For example, you can see shop by brand. You can check out all the collections I have under each brand such as Lululemon, Majuri, etc. You can check them out. There's also other things like all of my favorites from each category within makeup, skincare, etc. My entire makeup routine with my exact products that I'm using currently is also up there. So make sure you go check that out. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Starting with our usual category, which is jewelry. We have a couple of Majuri products and I actually have two rings from another jewelry brand called Pilgrim that I'm going to share with you. The first few items I want to share with you is from Majuri and I got some new hoop earrings from from a jury. Two of them are diamond earrings and the other two things are not diamond earrings, but they are also new from their store. So I do want to show you the first two is these two diamond earrings here. I got the new Pave diamond hoops and this one is in the medium size and this one is in the small size just for reference because they also have the large size in this exact earring, which I think I'm actually going to get because I do want to eventually move these two up one and have the large one here. The other thing was, if you guys didn't know, I got my ears pierced last month with Majuri. You can check out the vlog there, but because I'm still very, very close to my healing period, I was supposed to put on these earrings this month as well. This is the other hoop earring I got, and it just has some beads at the front. It's really dainty and nice, and I really thought I was able to put it on because it's actually supposed to be the end of my earring healing period, but it still hurts a little bit so I'm a little bit scared to take it off to put it on so I haven't done that yet but I'm also really excited because my whole entire plan with these earrings was I wanted to check out their new hoop charms which I have I just haven't been able to wear it yet but their new hoop charms which such a genius idea. I've literally never even heard of that until Majuri came out with it. These hoop charms, you can find them online and you can actually just like loop them through the hoops and it'll become a dangling earring. So from any of your existing earrings that you have from Majuri, you can buy the hoop charms and just hoop it through and then it almost looks like a different earring completely. So you're kind of getting a two in one. And as usual, I do have a 10% off with Majuri. So any of the products that are mentioned today you guys can get an automatic 10% off when you click on the link down below and have the discount if you are a new customer okay moving on to the next brand the next brand I wanted to talk about is Pilgrim Canada which I've actually worn their stuff before but they actually sent us a bunch of stuff on our trip to Mexico if you haven't seen the vlog there it is as well it was my first influencer trip and a bunch of brands sent us a bunch of stuff for the trip and this is my ring from Pilgrim so excuse my exam on my hand but they sent us some rings and these two are my favorite from pilgrim this is the first ring right here it's the silver ring you do have to take it off because it isn't solid gold or white gold so you do have to take it off so it doesn't tarnish and then this is the second ring that i really like i also really actually like this ring but i haven't really worn it as much because i'm more obsessed with this one but this is what this other ring looks like it is just so cool and like like very very extra I feel like it's really good for nice out so whenever people ask me about how I feel about mixing metals I'm always like oh my god I love 
it because as you can see from my hand there are you know my combination of all my Majuri rings which I also have the mixed metals with I have a lot of white gold pieces from Majuri now which I am due for an updated Majuri collection video I know which is going to come soon so make sure you subscribe I have been wearing some of these statement pieces from Pilgrim and what's really good about this is that this is the first time I've actually worn adjustable rings so all of their rings are actually adjustable if you can't tell they actually made it like on the side here for pilgrim right here just on the side they're all adjustable so what's nice about it is that for a ring like this for example i was able to put it on my ring finger and i was also able to put it on some of my other fingers as well if i feel like it so you definitely have the flexibility of that and everything is super affordable so definitely check them out as well just a really side story that i thought was really funny that i'm going to share is that i got a dm from this guy and he's like how many rings do you wear at once and because he's a straight man i don't know why my instinct whenever a straight man dms me is just to be rude like i don't know why okay i need to be nicer but i think it's just straight men like you know what i mean like i just love like my girls i love the gays and theys and then but then when straight men message me i'm just like what do you want anyway he messaged me my gut instinct was enough that you don't want to piss me off so i don't punch you i was just like honestly i need to be ladylike and pleasant and all bridgerton so i was like 13 or whatever the number was but anyway i wear a lot of rings all at the same time but i just really like the look and you guys have seen all of my ring stacking videos you guys know the reason behind it so i will not go into it but anyway moving on to the second category i have some skincare stuff so the first skincare product i want to share with you this is the clinique take the day off cleansing balm i just want to say like whenever i review skincare products it's really important to note that there are a lot of products that are very effective for different things and like in terms of preferences also very different for different people and what they like so I still like to share them all because a lot of people like different things so for example with this cleansing balm it takes off really stubborn makeup and it is a balm so if you don't like cleansing oils this is a good alternative because it is a balm and you don't get you know the liquidy you can actually just like scoop it up with your hand this one does take off a lot of stuff, but I will say that it does take a lot of time. So you really need to work in your hands, especially if you're wearing waterproof mascara or magnetic eyeliner or whatever it is. The easy stuff is very quick to take off, but the other things are harder. But why is this product worth it, you may ask? In addition to being able to take off everything that you're wearing, it leaves your skin super, super gentle and not drying. I feel like a lot of cleansing oils and cleansing balms out there are still amazing and still are very effective, but you can feel like you've got stripped away from all of your oils. This is the first one that I've tried where after taking it off my makeup, I can still feel kind of like some sort of just like residual, I don't know, just like natural oils or something. Like it does not feel dry. If it has always been a problem, with you for taking off your makeup and your skin feeling like it's been stripped away of everything then definitely try out this one because it does not have that feeling the next two products are both from Lancome if you watch my Sephora recommendations video or if you read my Sephora sale guide then you already know what product I'm gonna talk about but these two products were tested in March so that's why I'm including it in this video anyway but basically it's the Lancome absolute serum and the absolute cream so this is what the two products look like honestly it is so expensive that when I was testing out these two products this month, I was like, you better freaking like, I don't know, find me a rich husband or something like that. Because literally I was like, this is so expensive that you better freaking like make this worth it. And honestly, I was almost like predicting like, okay, it's probably not going to make it into this video because like it is just so expensive that it really needs to be so amazing for me to like recommend this product. And here I am recommending this product because honestly, okay, I'm not going to lie to you. The price point is so ridiculous. So let's keep that in mind. Okay. There are other products that have like better prices or whatever, but honestly, these two products had made my skin this month. I'm not even joking you. I don't know if you can tell. There is no filter in this video. And this is my skin, you guys. I'm not wearing foundation. I am wearing the Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is what people deem as a primer. And that is the only thing I'm wearing on my skin besides like highlighter and blush and stuff. But 
Otherwise, this is from these two products. There is currently, and I already said this in the Sephora guide, but there is a gift set that has a set of these and is already valued at so much smaller than the full retail value. And it's kind of like a trial size. So if you guys want to try out the product, you can try out that one. But honestly, my skin has been so much smoother this time. And I had a really rough start in the beginning because I actually got two very severe sunburns from going to Mexico. And immediately after using this, it became a lot better and i've been using it every single night you can see that i am almost done with this tub of cream there is a very heavy scent though as with most lancome products so if you guys are someone who is very sensitive to fragrance i would not get this at all but if you are someone like me who's a little bit more resilient to beauty products so because i am more resilient i actually prefer fragrance because it makes me smell a little bit nice i actually do really like this and it is surprisingly effective like very very obvious effective give it some time the results will come in and also I went online to just make sure I was not insane and a lot of other people online also agreed that this product although expensive is very very effective moving on to the next skincare product I have another eye cream for you this one is the it cosmetics under eye eye cream and this already says on the bottle it's smooths brightens, and deep puffs so once again there are a lot of eye creams out there but this one why this one is a little bit different is because this one is extremely light it smells like nice to almost like not there like it's very very lightweight and I feel like if you put it on your skin at night if you're someone who's like very sensitive to like creamy stuff or don't really like that but you want kind of like an eye cream this is a pretty good one there's not a heavy scent to it it is very light but it's also effective it kind of depuffs your bags it brightens up your under eye a little bit and it's just a very good I would say like introductory eye cream especially for those who are just trying to take care of their skin more and wanting to put on a little bit more product but you're like I don't like the feeling or I don't like the smell or like whatever it is this one is a pretty good intro one so definitely check that out okay moving on to makeup I only have two things really so this month I have been reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer I have actually had this product for a very long time but I never used it I feel like I used it on and off I feel like I might have even reviewed this before but it's one of those things where you like put something away because you're busy reviewing other things and this month I didn't really have a bronzer that I've been reviewing and I really wanted to kind of like test out what I've loved before because I had to shelved it for so long I remembered why I love it and I also remember why I didn't like it why I like it is because this bronzer the color and on my skin it's what I'm wearing today in two medium it's very very suitable for my skin tone it is not very flaky there are a lot of bronzers out there when you swipe your brush like the powder just comes out as well and it's like all over the place this one does not do that and then the second thing is when you apply it, it's very smooth it's not like bulky is it bulky or blotchy like heavy color in one area but not enough in another area it's very blendable so that's why i like it but i realized why i had shelved this for so long it was because this is so big like you guys can see that this is the size of my face like no bronzer needs to be this size you guys know i don't like big products because I like to have the versatility of bringing it with me when I travel and this is just not something that I would bring to me when I'm traveling. This would always have to be an at-home product. The product itself is amazing. The packaging does not live up to the product. So it's one of those things where if you get it, then you can bring it with you while traveling. It just will take up a lot of space or it can be your at-home bronzer. The next item I wanted to talk about, this person on Instagram had already beat me to it in sharing it with you guys because she already asked me what the lashes were after seeing one of my stories but it is the glamnetic lash and it is in the name lucky i do want to mention that this month i did try glamnetics liquid liner i'm gonna grab it to show you what it looks like this month i did try glamnetics liquid liner which is this is what it looks like i do not recommend the liquid liner because the liquid liner although good as just like an eyeliner but this one still advertises for it to be magnetic and from a magnetic standpoint this 
did not hold my lash at all whatsoever. I don't recommend the liquid liner. I would still stick to their regular liquid liner, which is this. Like it's almost like a paintbrush rather than like a felt tip. So I would definitely still stick with that. This one holds magnetic lashes really well. Also holds better than a lot of other magnetic liquid liners. Even if you have other magnetic lashes, you can still get the liner because I have found that it works better than some of the other ones I have tried, but just not their felt tip. So don't get that one. The next section that I want to talk about is home stuff. So I have two candles for you. There is this one by Maison Mer... I feel like I'm going to butcher this because I know it's French. Maison Meraguilla. You guys know which one I'm talking about. It's the replica candles and they also come in the fragrances as well. Everyone sees this on Instagram because it's super aesthetically pleasing. So the scent that I have from the candle is called By the Fireplace. Honestly, this is the fastest candle I have ever burned in my entire life. Like I finished this within a couple of days because I just always had it on. It smelled so good. Like they call this like memory. There's a section at the bottom and it says memory in a candle. And it's really true. This really smelled like a fireplace, but in, in the nicest, subtle, most appealing, gentle way. And it left my home just smelling so, so good. I'm smelling it now, actually. It's so good. Like I have completely emptied it. I'm gonna clean out this candle jar later. I really, really recommend this scent and even their candles. I'm a huge person on luxury candles. I absolutely love it. I also have been trying some by Bath and Body Work. I actually finished their other one. I'm gonna leave the name on the side because I can't remember. In this month, I have finished those two candles, the replica one, the one by Bath and Body Works, which scent I'll leave here. And now I'm working on this other one and they're all really good. I find that Bath and Body Works candles are very effective in drowning out any like bad smells. So if you guys are, you know, like at home or if you want to have guests over and if you just cooked or whatever and you want to mask something like the smell of like cooking or like whatever it is or you just really want like another scent to come over your place and kind of like fast I would definitely recommend Bath and Body Works. It takes over your place so quickly. Every single time I have guests over, I always put it on and people always have a comment to make about it, about how nice it is because the smell is just so strong. With that being said, because I have been loving candles so much, I actually got this set from Amazon. So the reason why I had to get this is because I needed a thing to basically take the fire out without me blowing on it. There was also another candle I'm using right now by Ghislaine or Girl lane basically like where the wick actually got stuck at the bottom. So I, I needed something to take it out. And then I also wanted to get a wick trimmer because when the wick is too long, it's like the fire is just super out of control and could be very dangerous. So that's why I got this set. You can find all of this in the link down below, but I also have a Amazon store where you can shop all of my Amazon favorites and you can find this in there as well. So whichever way tickles you fancy, you can find the product. Product there. Next two products that I wanted to share with you is also in the fragrance family. So the fragrance that I've been testing out this month is one by Tiffany and co. And this one is, is there a name for it? I don't know if there's a name, but this one says notes of black currant, blue rose and Ambret seed. I'm not sure either way. This has been my scent this entire month. You can see I've already used up like this much. I leave it by my entrance and this one has a very feminine smell. I feel like it's a more of like a date night, going out to dinner, like even for brunch, like a very definitely like night with the girls or like a date night type of like scent. So I really, 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 really like this, especially for going out and stuff. This has been my scent all month. The one that I have also been using is the replica one, also in the scent by the fireplace. But this one is really interesting. And to be honest, it almost didn't make it to this video because the first half of the month, I was not a fan of this scent because I was kind of like, it's 
weird. It's like you smell like a fireplace. And I was like, am I supposed to be putting this on myself? As a candle, it made sense to me. But as a spray, I was a little bit confused. But as I continued to use it, I 100% get the appeal. First of all, this is a very androgynous scent. So if you are thinking about getting this scent for someone in your life, for like your dad, brother, your partner or whatever, I feel like this is a very, very good scent for that. I don't have anyone in my life right now, but if I had a boyfriend or whatever, like if this was the smell that was reeking from his sweater, I would really, really like it. It's very earthy. I've actually started to spray it on myself when I'm alone because it's a very comforting smell. And I'm starting to understand what they mean by memory in a fragrance because it's really, and the word I want to emphasize, it's very familiar, it's very like comforting. It just brings you back that memory. So this, for me, fragrances have always been something where I spray like 20% for me, but like 80% for other people. You, you guys, you guys understand what I'm saying though, right? It's like you spray it like, yes, it's in part for yourself, but also mostly so that when you're walking out, like, you know, this is the scent that you reek and you know, this is like the personality that you want other people to feel right. But this one is like, when I've been spraying it, I've been spraying it when I've been home alone. I sprayed it today all day. This isn't a scent that I'm like, I'm going to spray it to like, for other people to smell me. It was more like it started with a candle and the smell just comforted me so much. Now that my candle has ran out, I have been spraying this on myself when I'm alone because I just feel comforted by the scent. This is one of those. And that's why I was saying if this was on my partner, I feel like I would feel very like, warmed, comforted, and just, yeah. So even if you don't want to get it for you, get it for the person that you're gonna smell if that makes sense. So enough babbling. The last two products that I have, the first of the last two is the five minute journal. I got the five minute journal finally because I've been eyeing it, but never really got, you know, the chance to actually go and buy it for myself. But Dermalogica had beat me to it and sent it to me within a PR package. I love it so much. I use it every single day. It is just something that I've just been very in tuned with because if you guys are not new to this video, you will know that I am quite spiritual. I practice gratitude. I practice affirmations and everything. So this journal just has a lot of the things that can guide you. And what I love most about it is because it is only five minutes. When I wake up in the morning, I can't justify not writing in this journal because I'm like, you have five minutes. Like you literally have five minutes and I will set my alarm to give me extra time to do this because I'm like, it's only five minutes. It's honestly very simple and every day is the same, but I really encourage reading the beginning of this book because it really talks about the psychology of why this book works. And if you really put your effort into it, I genuinely believe it can be life-changing for you. So just to kind of read like the beginnings, there's two sections, one for morning and one for night. The darker part is for night. But in the mornings, you answer three questions, what you're grateful for, what would make today great, and your daily affirmations of the day. And then at night, you answer your highlights of the day and also what you learned today. It has been very helpful for me. There's different colors of the notebook as well. So I definitely recommend checking that out. The last thing I wanted to share with you are these sneakers right here. These ones are from Vessi, another fellow Vancouver brand. I actually shared on Instagram that I was running in the rain and I wanted some waterproof shoes. So I was asking everyone if they knew any waterproof shoes and everyone almost made fun of me for not knowing about Vessi. They're like, Vessi, come on, it's from Vancouver. And I'm like, I'm sorry, like I didn't know. You guys honestly really crafted all of this because thanks to you guys and the overwhelming responses that it was Vessi, the actual social account of Vessi noticed the post and they were like, we're gonna send you a pair to try. I tried it this month. I actually have been wearing this every single day. I also think it looks amazing. I will leave the exact style in my website but these are honestly so amazing and I can't believe they're hundred percent waterproof like that's crazy to me but they're also very comfortable I will say that the first two days that when I wore it because my socks were so low I didn't get a blister but I did get a little bit of like a I don't know just like uncomfort in the back of my heel so either wear long socks or just like you know kind of wear off the discomfort and then eventually it's now for me like super comfortable i wear them every single day and i can go on long walks with it so definitely check that out but anyway i know this has been a very long video but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one bye